Hello everyone. In my previous video, I had quite the adventure rescuing my quad. So if you didn't watch that video, make sure to go watch it. And the reason for that rescue was caused by not pilot error, of course, but a motor failure. So I wanted to talk about this type of motor failure in this video because this kind of thing has happened to me a couple times over the years. And I want your feedback in the comments as to whether this kind of failure has happened to you and if you think the theory that I'm gonna present is correct. So first, let's talk about what this motor failure is. So basically, you're cruising along and you can give it a lot of throttle, which sometimes triggers this, but sometimes you're just cruising and then one motor just stops spinning and the quad just tumbles out of the air. So it's not like a typical desync that happens a lot of the times where one corner of the quad will just dip and then recover. It's the corner dips and then it just keeps going and then the quad tumbles, it's unrecoverable. And this also only seems to happen with older motors that I've been flying for a year or more. My theory for why this happens has to do with the age of the motors. Basically, the motor windings are made with magnet wire, which is a copper wire with an insulating enamel around it, which is very thin. And my theory is that over time, the vibration from the motor and propeller makes the enamel wear away on the magnet wire because the magnet wire is all up against each other in the windings. And if the insulation gets worn away, then you'll have a short circuit and then the motor will not produce a very large magnetic field and it can't produce torque and the motor will stop spinning. So that is my theory and it has to be an older motor because it slowly wears away the enamel on the magnet wire over time. So anytime I replace the problematic motor, the problem goes away. So it's definitely not an ESC problem either. Now something else that I wanna mention that kind of supports my theory is that for other motor applications outside of the realm of mini quads, motor windings actually are potted, which means that there is essentially an epoxy resin that is soaked into the motor windings so that the magnet wires can't really move relative to each other, which prevents the enamel from getting worn through. And that resin also typically is thermally conductive, which helps dissipate heat. However, for mini quads, our motors never seem to ever be potted. And that's probably because it adds expense, it adds manufacturing complexity, and it adds weight. And probably for most pilots, they're going to break something else on the motor before the windings start shorting out from vibration. But that's just my theory. It also could be that uh, these hyperlight motors that I'm running just don't use very good magnet wire. So maybe if you have experienced this issue, let me know what brand of motor it was. But that's pretty much all I have to say. That is the kind of failure I've experienced. That is my theory on why it's happening. So let me know in the comments if you've experienced this kind of motor failure and if you think my theory is correct. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like and make sure to get subscribed because in a future video, we're actually going to be changing out these motors and trying a different stator size. Lastly, if you get value out of this content or you're using an ad blocker, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links to the Patreon, Discord, and Instagram are in the description below. Thanks for watching.